Hi there, it's Simon from Scan Pro Audio. I'm just going to show you some little tips and tricks on the sort of the layout of Ableton and when you've got a session open, some quick ways of moving about so you can get the screen to show what you want to see basically. So on this at the moment, if I press tab and flip between the two screens, I've actually got a track laid out using the arrangement view. Uh, the way I constructed this was just um, dragging things in and building it up from this way. Sometimes it's easier to work this way. Uh, it all depends what style of music you're doing. If I press tab again, I can flip between the two screens. Now, this screen is obviously a mixer, so if I want to balance everything, um, it's easier to do it here. You can do it on this side. It's not as accurate and you can't really see what you're doing. One quick thing to mention is, if you're on this screen, um, I've spread those out nice and even. If you actually hold the edges, you can resize these. But if what, happen if what happens is this, uh, you get each one different sizes. All you need to do to resize is if you hold Alt down and then resize, you can put them all back to the equal size. So all I did then was just, I, I move it to the smallest and then just brought it out until I fit the screen. So I've got 10 channels there so I can go about that far. Now one easy way to get the levels down, I think this one was running quite high and it was starting to get into the red there. Um, it's okay at the moment but say it was there. And I basically need to drag the volume of everything down. Uh, if you click anywhere here or even select one of the tracks, if I press Control A, which is if you're used to working with um, word processors, means basically select all, like all text or anything. So Control A, it selects all the channels. Now if I then move the volume, if I click there, it will move all the volumes together. Um, if I stay in this sort of state there, anything that I move on the track will also move on the others because it's all these tracks are selected. So if I wanted to increase the amount of reverb or something like that, if I had something set up on return A, if I move A on one channel, it will send them all equal amounts. Uh, I don't think you ever really want to do that, but that's what you can do. But I mean, that goes for panning as well. If I move number six, it'll pan everything. Now, the only thing you need to do is when you finish doing that is to click out of it because otherwise you'll just stay there. So if I go over here and move the volume, they're still all chained together. So just click one of them at the top, deselect it, and then you're back. Um, while we're at it, another quick tip as well is um, these boxes, the basic, you've got your browser um, and you've got the, the track there, whatever device you select. Uh, you've got an overview as well, which is currently off. If you press Control and Alt, all these next commands are using Control and Alt together. So if you keep them pressed down, it'll show you this there. If I press O, you get the overview, which is basically the other screen, and you can kind of see it there at the top. And you can even jump in there. You can skip through it. Um, it pretty much sounds the same as track, so you, you can't see much difference. Um, but basically, control alt, so always your overview. Uh, B is browser, so obviously the first letter of each one, that's all you need to remember. So control alt are the sort of magic keys there. So control alt, you press B, that's your browser. Um, L is like the sort of layer at the bottom where you've got um, any of your devices, um, effects, things like that. If you don't want to see them and get the most out of the screen, again, it's control alt and then L. Um, also, if you don't want to see the mixer, if you want, if you had lots of clips here, press M, and that goes as well. Um, also, you can press S for your sends and returns, which are these here. If I press S, they'll disappear, and if I press R, the returns will disappear here on the right. So, if you want to make the most use of this here, um, if you press R, now all these can be done using the View menu here. So, everything I've just said there, so Control. And Alt, Control, Alt, Control, Alt. You got um, your ins and outs. Oh, the ins and outs I didn't actually show you, but that's just basically um, your inputs. Press Control, Alt. There, that's just your inputs. So if you're in the, the stage of mix down, you probably wouldn't need to use your ins and outs because you've recorded everything and you've rooted everything. So you could turn that off too. So basically, it's just a few little tips to organize your layout. Um, it does work on the other screen as well. Um, you can move the mixer so you've got more room and the same with your browser turn that on and off 
and the overview as well. It's all sort of to uh, maximize your, your screen real estate, I suppose. So just little tips there. Um, if you just try and learn the shortcuts, you're going to be able to move through a lot quicker. Um, and those were all under view just to move those there. So I hope that helps. Just quick techniques there, just little things to make things a little bit easier when using Ableton Live. Okay, thanks for listening.